Hi Virgo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Virgo, this is going to be one of their true intentions in love. It's going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And Virgo, your oracle cards are here, and I feel like you're choosing an ending in your life. Yeah, we have, with the little itty-bitty uh, cards here, we have the World card, King of Pentacles, King of Swords, and the Death card. With these four cards, for me, it looks like you're consciously choosing an ending in order to start over here with the World card. To start over with, I'm not sure, with something new, it looks like something's ending and something else is beginning. And we have the Tower here as well from the Law of Attraction deck. So you, uh, I feel like you have attracted some type of an ending and a new beginning for yourself. But I do feel like uh, you've attracted it out of, like, you're making a conscious decision, yeah, a calculated and a clear decision to bring something to an end. And in this tower, the man, he's out here in his kind of rain gear. He's looking at the 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 tree, but, you know, the storm is here big time, right? Uh, with all the kind of uh, thunder, right? Uh, or lightning, I should say. I can't really hear the thunder, no. But he's here with all the lightning. It's not really hitting the tree. I just feel like if from this, you know, this talks about a failure or an ending, but it talks about learning and starting out in a new direction, which is really going to help your cause. This is a learning experience for sure. We have blessings and forgiveness. Maybe you are uh, asking somebody, it looks like you, you're asking for forgiveness, right? And the blessings card, this is really clear. You have blessings coming and, you know, uh, you also have... Uh, I feel like a hard ending on some level. Yeah, the tower. So let's see what else we have. And the world card uh, talks about an ending. So does this death card, of course. Maybe you're dealing with uh, a, an air sign here, but you're definitely making you're making this decision yourself. Uh, the forgiveness part, I'm not sure how that comes in. Let's see what we have for you and your person, Virgo. Let's see what we got. And you're in, you have the hierophant, the six of swords. Right here, for me, you look like you're you're rowing away from a marriage or a relationship. You're challenged, Three of Pentacles. You could be dealing. Uh, you could be leaving one union to be with another, to walk into another union. You want a new path. This is clear. Page of Wands, right? And then the Emperor is going to be kind of like your fear or your doubt. So that could be many things. Uh, we're going to find out about that in a minute. Your person has the Two of Cups, the Four of Swords. The challenge for them is the Knight of Swords. They want the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, they want, um, you know, for me, a person wants a brand new beginning with you or an opportunity, right? And, you know, the Ace of Pentacles is, I want something solid with you. Here they are worried. Uh, the Nine of Swords, uh, a lot of anxiety, worry. This could be their worst nightmare. It could be, right? This lady's, you know, sitting up at night uh, and really upset. Your person, the challenge is a knight of swords. I feel like you're taking some fast action here. Either that or you are just determined. Like you're determined to carry through with this, carry on with this. You might be married to this person. You might be. So let's see. You could also be uh, maybe in a situation where you're walking away to marry somebody else. It could be. Let's look at your challenge, Three of Pentacles. Hangman, maybe your person's Pisces. Let's see, let's get one more card. And the moon. Yeah, this person, somebody here is most likely a Piscean, maybe Cancer. But uh, the challenge here is, you know, you might have doubts and fears. You, uh, there could be sadness here in the challenge, right? Making it harder to, uh, harder with this decision. And, uh... You know, this Three of Pentacles, let's get one more card here. I feel like maybe this Piscean is, that's them. I feel like that's them. And that could have been really hard for you to kind of move away from somebody who, who loves you and who worries about you. Because your person's energy down here is all about that. I feel like they, yeah, you're the one who is making this decision. Page of Cups, this is a challenge. I feel like you just, you know, you have some... Maybe to let this person know, right, through some type of communication, could be Page of Cups here. But this somebody has doubts and fears here and uh, sadness. This moon card for me is all about sadness and the challenge. And because your person's in the Nine of Swords energy. And 
you want the page of wands and the three of wands reversed yeah you look like you're turning your back here and you look like you want to manifest something else you look like you want to kind of like as i said kind of end one thing begin another thing you're hoping you're going to manifest this you're hoping that your vision is you know is going to kind of you know bring the fruits right the fruits of for you bring you blessings you have the blessings card here and your fear is your doubt or your fear virgo is the emperor and the eight of swords reversed this is you worried here about uh, i just feel like you're kind of worried that your plans aren't going to go through the emperor is all about focus and planning and the will and the determination to you know to kind of complete those plans but i feel like you're worried here that your plans are not going to work or you're doubting, possibly, it doesn't always have to be a major worry, but, uh, but you know, this is something really important when you uh, are kind of completing a cycle and beginning a new one. So I would think that that would be a little bit of a worry, yeah. So let's see what else we have for Virgo. Uh, Vir Virgo's person, they have the Two of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, and they have the Four of Swords. Let's see what else we have for your person. Okay, Six of Cups reverse. Your person is all in their kind of retrospection. Uh, maybe they're returning to somebody, but you look like you're leaving up here uh, and on a new path, Page of Swords, Six of Swords. I feel like your person is like, maybe they're healing from this, but it looks like you're returning to somebody from your past, Six of Cups reversed, and you're like reuniting, right, with somebody, Three of Cups here. Uh, but your person is totally in, like, in, this is what they are, this is what's on their mind. This is what they are kind of uh, in introspection about, yeah. And the challenge is the Knight of Swords here with the Three of Swords reversed. This person wants this to stop, like, Three of Swords reversed. They want, like, they want to stop the heartbreak. I feel like your person wants to cut this out. We have the the Knight of Swords facing the six of cups reversed like they want to cut this out this is their challenge they want this uh there's a third party here now whether or not you are in one doesn't mean you were seeing two people or you were married and seeing someone else but i feel like you there's two other people here besides you one you're leaving and one you're moving toward or your person is doing this to you it could be but your person is the one in the nine of swords energy really worried here and you look like you are the one who are on a brand new path and what they want is the Ace of Pentacles and the Justice card. So uh, let's see what else. They, maybe they want the truth. Nine of Cups. It looks like they want their marriage. Because the first cards you have, here if it, here they have justice in their desire. They could uh, be wanting to bring balance. Sometimes, you know, uh, justice can be about balance. Mm hmm get another card for them queen of swords your person i feel like wants to know why wants to know the truth here yeah they want to know the truth about this if you're if you have a new beginning with somebody that you really want with your wish nine of cups you didn't tell them virgo they're, they're they have to figure this out on their own and if they're pisces over here with the high uh with the hangman or cancer, they're they know they already intuitively they know, and the six the nine of swords tower reversed. Yeah, this is your person's fear or doubt. They think you're going to rebuild with somebody. Nine of swords tower reversed. Let's look at the shared energy. We'll pick up a new deck here. Let's see what we have for the shared energy. Let's see the tower yeah you're both in the tower about this we have the tower up here we have the tower three times in the reading this is a huge shake up in your life and theirs and how they feel about you Virgo is the queen of cups so they could be this Piscean here in the challenge hangman and let's see what else the seven of wands are really overwhelmed about this this person wants to stop this they don't want you to go yeah they are I feel like this person is like uh, kind of fighting here on some level or trying to stop you maybe they're trying to stop you you know please don't go I'm, I'm not sure but they're they they look like they want to stop this 
Knight of Swords in their challenge right at the Six of Cups here reversed. They're in the Nine of Swords energy. So we're going to end this reading, Virgo, and we're going to go straight to the extended. And the extended reading is uh, basically going to be your person's energy, right? And uh, in the extended, we're going to look at the environment. We're going to look at how they see the situation. And uh, we're going to see uh, what they want with you, right? Like, you know, to see whether or not they kind of want to stick around or, you know, what they really want. We're going to also see... Uh, what, what they're hiding or what you don't know about this person mm -hmm. and their near future. And, of course, uh, their true intentions or their outcome. Thank you so much, you guys, uh, for watching. We're going to have the advice card. They're all super affordable. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, the link is below. They're all super affordable. And PayPal is enabled, you guys. Please don't use PayPal unless you have to, like you're out of the country or something like that. Uh, the fees are uh, exorbitant. Yeah, that's why I disabled it last time. Thank you so much, guys.